did it with Paul Mack on my dad as well. So they're all there in the lounge room. And I have to apologise to the neighbours next door and next door <laughs> and next door because I played the album all night. I must, must also thank the, the Richmond police. I'm sorry about that. They came twice and said, turn down the sound last night. <laughs> so, and there's the phone now. It's probably the Richmond police again. This album, it's called Young Modern, is out this week, in the shops this week, and I put it next to this album. Wow. Um, yes, I do. No. Oh, yes, I do. As Sergeant good as Sergeant Peppers. Peppers. It's good as 2000 version of Sergeant Peppers. It is so brilliant, it's uh, mind-boggling. So here they are. I did an interview with them, uh, with the, the three boys, and we'll then see the performance. It's mind-boggling. And, and if it's the police, uh, I'll turn down the sound. I'll turn down the sound. <laughs> I'll go to bed. I'll go to bed. We found to be reflections of a just there in your lounge room hanging out and then after they played you had a bit of a chat with the boys also absolutely I mean, they're absolute geniuses and this is what they had to say about the album coming up and we'll go to number one next week you watch here's the boys did you ever imagine that you would come this far in literally 10 years no I think we were just having we were just having fun the whole time mm. I don't think we um, really took it um you know, too seriously, I think. Mm. And also just, um, you know, growing up through the whole experience of it all as well. So there's, mm. uh, you know, especially at that age, there's so many other things you kind of go through as well. So um, Being a bit naive was probably on, a, on my side as well. Like, we kind of didn't get caught up in all the... Sure. All the, you know, music industry stuff that goes on. Yeah, we're just so naive. We didn't... We, we never thought... Oh, we're going to maintain this. We just said, oh, that's what happens. You write a record and then you get massive. <laughs> well, it's been a long time coming, and Molly, it sounds as though it is worth the wait. Now, we know Silverchair is still number one on the singles charts. What about the album charts? All right, da 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 da. The John Butler Trio has gone to number one on the album charts. We're, we're, actually, I'm interviewing them later in the week. That's on Sunrise next week. So, this is so exciting. Um, with them being number one on the album charts, Silver Chair number one on the singles charts, and maybe Silver Chair is going to bump John off next week uh, of being number one on the, on the album charts. It is so, for Australian music, it is so exciting. I just, I'm blown out. That's terrific. And I've got to go to bed because the police are at the door again, you know? <laughs> they just heard us. 
they heard the sound from um, from your show and they think oh, he's playing that bloody music again for God's sake, you know? There he goes. All right, Molly. Well, I'll, I'll go to bed, I'll go to bed, I'll go Good to bed. Right. There's All the right, phone mate. again. Oh, my God. Catch you next week. Oh. See you, mate. It is 12 minutes to 8 o'clock. Next hour, which women qualify for the cervical cancer vaccine?